Hey, Write Writers, Keith Wheeler here back with another video for you. And today we're going to talk all about Kindle short reads. I've been getting a lot of questions recently about Kindle short reads and do Kindle short reads sell? And is it still a profitable way to publish books? Well, today we're going to answer five of the most common questions I get about Kindle short reads. We're going to talk about do they still sell? How many pages should I write? How much should I price my Kindle short read for? How many books should I publish? And should I put my Kindle short read in KDP Select? So first we're gonna start off with, do Kindle short reads still sell? Well, let's head on over to Amazon and check it out for ourselves. Well, here we are on amazon.com and I'm in incognito mode. Now, if you haven't seen incognito mode before, just go to whatever your web browser is. You're gonna go all the way to the far right hand side. You're gonna hit on the uh, ellipses or the, the three dots. Click on that and there'll be new incognito window. Now, some browsers may call it private window, whatever, it's all the same thing. And the reason why we do incognito mode is so that we it takes out our search biases. So we wanna make sure that we have this as unbiased as possible. So we're gonna use three different tools in order to determine all of the answers to these questions, but more importantly, do Kindle short reads still sell? We're gonna use amazon.com, we're gonna use the Amazon Book Sales Calculator, which is on Kindlepreneur's website, and I'll include a link to that down in the description below. And then we're gonna use my old handy dandy computer calculator. That's all we need. So we're gonna start off with the most important questions. Do Kindle short reads still sell in 2023, which is when I'm recording this video? So we're gonna to go to amazon.com, and we're gonna go over here to the dropdown where it says all. And I wanna to go to bestsellers because that's who that's who we care about, right? We don't care about the books that aren't selling. We care about the bestsellers. So we're gonna click on that. We're gonna scroll down to Kindle. Over here, the Kindle store. And obviously this is something you can do because these are all gonna change sometimes daily. So you'll wanna check and see you know, what categories and everything like that work best for your book if, if you think that you may wanna do this. But right now, we're gonna see, do Kindle short reads still sell? We're here in the Kindle store, right here, Kindle short reads. Now, one thing that I do want to uh, clarify right off the bat before we get any further is what is a Kindle short read? First of all, a Kindle short read is a category on Amazon that you cannot request your book to be in. It's something that Amazon will decide on their own. Now, as you can see right here, Kindle short reads are shorter books. They're 100 pages or less. And so it's broken down into time length. So 15 minutes is one to 11 pages. 30 minutes is 12 to 21 pages. 45 minutes is 22 to 32 pages. 90 minutes is 44 to 64 pages. One hour is 33 to 43 pages. And two hours or more is 65 to 100 pages. So that's the way they break it down. Now, what constitutes a quote page, an ebook page? Unfortunately, Amazon doesn't really give out that information. So, uh, you know, their, their conjecture and websites will tell you that they figured it out. But the truth is, is the, the real answer Amazon hasn't, hasn't given. So uh, what I tend to do is look at uh, books I've already published and see how many ebook pages that it, you know, Kindle says it is and go from there. The question is, do they still sell? So here we are in the Amazon bestsellers for Kindle short reads. And this is the general category, the overall category. Obviously each one has a subcategory based on the length. And then even within each of those, there's sub subcategories, which I'll show you in a second. But here is the, the main overall page. So this is the number one. Now, as you see these pop-ups, if you haven't seen any of these tutorials that I've done in the past, I use a free Chrome extension called DS Amazon Quick View. And so it just makes it so I don't have to click inside it and scroll down to the product details. That's all it does. It, there's nothing that's showing on this that I couldn't just click on and find. It just makes things faster for me. So here we go. I'm going to hover over it and it will tell me everything from the categories, but most importantly, the page length, because obviously this is the, the main overall short reads category. So, you know, the one that's in the number one position is 38 pages long and it'll also show me when it was created. So this one was published on June 27th. I'm recording this on June 29th. So this has only been out for a couple days. Um, already has uh, 108 reviews. So, uh, and as you can see, it's on Kindle Unlimited, which Kindle Unlimited is, if you publish a book through KDP, there's an option to put your ebook in KDP Select, which we'll talk about in a momentarily. And so 
if you have it enrolled in KDP Select, then you will be in the Kindle Unlimited library where people pay X amount of dollars a month and they get you know access to all of these books and they can have up to 20 in their quote digital library at any given time. So uh, with these, you don't get paid by the purchase, you get paid by the page read. So that's something to, to keep in mind. But let's go up to the very first category, which is 15 minutes, which is one to 11 pages. That's right, you can create a book that is one page long and it would qualify as 15 minutes as a Kindle short read. So under here, we're in the top 100 paid books. You know, there's also a category for free, but we're we're talking about making money, right? So we're talking about the paid ones. So I'm gonna scroll down and here's the first one. Uh, this one, as you can see, the publish date says October 10th. So this is actually a pre-order. And so, you know, people can come on here and pre-order and with KDP, you can put your book up on pre-order for up to 365 days in advance. So right now, this one, it, it doesn't have any reviews because if it did, you'd see them. But the BSR, the best seller rank right now is 8,794. So that means out of all eBooks, this is the 8,794th. Okay, so now we're gonna head on over here to the Amazon calculator, which is on Kindlepreneur's website. And we're gonna put in the BSR, 8794. It tells me right here, that's 18 books. You wanna make sure that you're on eBook and whatever your marketplace is, in this case, amazon.com. And so it shows that it sells on average 18 books per day. And it's selling for $4.99, okay? So at $4.99, and let's assuming they're only getting 35% royalties, it's making about a buck 74, buck 75 per ebook sold. And so then I'm just gonna multiply that by the 18 sales it's getting a day on average. Okay, that's 31 bucks a day times 30 days in a month. So that's $943 off one book in a month that has a total of one page. Right there, one page. Okay, so let's see some of these other books. Obviously you're not gonna compete with Agatha Christie, but look at this one. So this book is a series reading order checklist, okay? So this is six pages long and it, this author has obviously multiple books in their series, and they've created a six page checklist on what order to read their books in. Like what a great way to create a complimentary product to an already existing series. So here we go, it's got what, 28, 29, yeah, 28 reviews, and let's see how it's selling. Okay, so it's got 35,314, 314, it's selling nine a day at 99 cents, so it's making about 35 cents per copy, nine a day, times 30 days, so it's making 94 and a half bucks a month for a checklist. Okay, so this is in the, the 15 minutes, so the one to 11 pages. And as you can see, this is just the main category. Like I said, there's subcategories, so you can just go through here and see if any of these really speak to you and, and see if, if it's something you might be interested in, in creating an, a Kindle short read for. So the short answer we've already determined is, do Kindle short reads still sell? Yes, they do, and they sell pretty well. Let's do the 30 minutes, which is 12 to 21 pages, and see how these are doing. So this one right here, this looks like it's basically a, a comic book, selling for $3.99. Let's see how many pages it is. 21 pages, okay. Uh, this one just launched yesterday, June 28th. Today's again, is the 29th. Um, and it's ranked 6131, 6131, it's selling 24 copies a day on average to keep that ranking, 399 times 0.35%. So it's making a buck 39, a buck 40 per copy times 24 copies times 30 days in a month. That's over $1,000 in one month on average for this 21 page book. So again, I mean, I, I, wouldn't you love to have one book, one short read that's bringing in $1,000 a month? All right, and then so we've got other ones. This one isn't in Kindle Unlimited. This one is The World's Dumbest Questions. This is in Kindle Unlimited. And I'm not gonna go through and, and show you all the different, you know, how much it's making, but that's the number one right there. So let's go, let's play the devil's advocate and say, 
we're going to uh, we're going to scroll down and see what what number 100 is. Okay, so here we are at number 100. As you can see, it's I mean its ranking is is pretty it's pretty low. It's a hundred and over a hundred thousand. So uh, let's start off with looking at how much that is. I'm gonna guess it's less than a book a day. So we'll check it out. Yeah, less than a book a day, okay? But one thing I wanted to point out is this book is from 2019. It's from 2019 and it's still ranked in the top 100 in this category. And so it, that just goes to show, and this is in the broad category. This isn't drilled down into one of the subcategories. So this shows that if you publish a book now in Kindle short reads, you're still going to be making, I mean, look how many reviews they've got. I mean, 2019, that's four years ago. And they're still getting enough sales, you know, you know, one every other day or something like that to break the top 100. And again, that's just in the general category of the 30 minutes. So absolutely, do they still sell? Yes, they do. So the next question is, how many pages should I write? And that's really gonna depend on, on what your niche is and, and how much you like to write and what you can write about. You know, how don't, don't put a lot of fluff in there. You know, put in what you need in order to create a good book. That's the number one, because you can publish a book you know, uh, however long, one page, a hundred page, whatever, and get a couple sales. But if it's, if it's hot garbage, if it's not doing that well, then you're not going to make a lot of money long-term. And that's what we want to do, right? We, we don't want to just be, you know, make money right now and that's it. You know, we, we want to make this a long-term investment and, and make this a passive income stream. That's the key, right? Make it passive. So you write it one time and it's out there forever and making you money. So look at the category, see if there's a category that you feel comfortable in and that you have knowledge of or that you could get knowledge of or that, that you feel comfortable writing in if it's, you know, fiction and, and then decide if, you know, which, which length you think you can write, you know? And so that's, I mean, that's really the best advice I can give you. Look at the competitors that you have in there. So let's say that you want to write, um, a, a science fiction fantasy. So click in here. Let's see what the number one is. And understand that you're not going to compete with the big names, you know, uh, especially starting out. And you know, like this one, this one's got 2,300 reviews. This one is in the number one spot. It's actually a pre-order, which is why it has no reviews. And this one is self-published because it's coming through Publish Drive. It tells you right there. And so this book is outranking, and as you can see, it's not in Kindle Unlimited yet because, well, it's not available. And so, but it's outpacing and, and it outselling bigger name ones. So it's absolutely possible to make money and to still sell Kindle short reads even now in 2023. So again, look at the competitors, see what types of books are out there and what types of books you are comfortable writing. Don't copy these. Use these as inspiration, as ideas as to what, what kind of book you could write. And then go in and, and look at the reviews that they have, because if you look, they're not all five stars. So look at this one. It's got 700 reviews, but you know, like I said, it's not all, or it doesn't say five star rating. It says 4.6, which means there are lower ratings. So if you click on here, you can see, and of course it's not, my screen's not going to show it. There we go. Um, it's got three star reviews. Some have one star reviews. So look and see what your competitors that are already have books out there, what people are saying they love about the book and what they're, what they dislike about the book. And you can use that to make sure that you write an even better book. So the answer to how many pages should you write? Write as many pages as you feel comfortable with, you know, as you think you can put a good book together. If you can write a good book in whatever the niche is in one or two pages, go for it, you know, and make sure that you price it accordingly. I know some of these are priced pretty high for short reads, but chances are they have a, a, a backlog and that they have a, a good amount of followers that are willing to pay that price. So when you first start out, you're probably gonna price it at 99 cents, which is fine. Because again, that, that gets you seen, that gets more people there's, are likely to buy your book and try your book at 99 cents than at 7.99. So I spoke a little while ago about backlog. You know, I, I discussed that, you know, they, that's why they're able to price it higher. That's why they're able to get number one ranking 
even without the book even being available yet, it's only on pre-order, is because I'm sure they have a backlog. I'm sure they have a bunch of people that have read their other books and they're anticipating this one and they wanna get it as soon as possible. So how many books should you publish? And the short answer is as many as you can. You know, Make sure that you're putting out good quality books, that's the most important, but you know, once you do that, once you have books out there, then, and people read one, they're more likely to read the others as long as they're good. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna click on new releases. These are books that have been available within and launched within the last 30 days. Now, as you can see, some of these books have, uh, like I said, the, the Kindle Unlimited, which means that they're in KDP Select. Now, if your book is in KDP Select or, or you're wondering, should I put my Kindle short read in KDP Select? It really comes down to what your goal is. So if your goal is to get more eyes on your book and to you know, not necessarily make a lot of money, but make, uh, you know, make more customers and, and get people more interested in your content, then Kindle Unlimited is probably a really good option for you. So putting your book in KDP Select program. KDP Select, I've got videos on this, is a 90 day exclusive program to where your ebook is only available on Amazon digitally for that 90 day window. And again, you don't get paid for sales, you get paid by page read. Now each page read is gonna give you about a little less than half a cent per page. So especially if you're writing Kindle short reads, you're not gonna make a lot of money doing that. You know, if you've got a book that's, you know, uh, 100 pages and you're getting less than half a cent, so it means you're getting less than 50 cents for reading the entire book. And most people don't read the entire book. So again, it's more for, if you're writing Kindle short reads, the only reason why you'd wanna be in KDP Select is to, to get more attention to your book, to get more people to look at your backlist, maybe to get some uh, people to, to look at, uh, maybe you've got a lead magnet where you know, you're know you getting them on your sign up, your email list, whatever. So that's really the only reason why you would wanna put your Kindle short read into KDP Select. And I mean, there are other added bonuses to being in KDP Select. And like I said, I've got a whole video on that, which I'll link to above. So you can, you can check that out when you have time. Um, so again, so so I'm not gonna go through all of these, but you know, we just went over the first two. We went over the 15 minutes and the 30 minutes. And again, it goes all the way up to two hours or more, which is the 65 to 100 pages. So don't take my word for it. Go on amazon.com, check it out for yourself, and you'll see that Kindle short reads still sell in 2023. You're probably thinking, wait, Keith, you said you were gonna talk about how much you should price your ebook for. That's right, I did mention that. So let's talk about that real quick. So here's what I do when it comes to figuring out how to price my book. Just like I said before about, about picking a niche and everything else, you want to look and see what your competitors are doing. So like if I'm writing a book, if I plan on writing one for it, that's gonna be 12 to 21 pages, I wanna go in here, figure out which category I'm gonna write in. Let's say again, we talked about earlier, science fiction fan, fantasy, I scroll in here and look at the pricing. You know, this, this is the top 100. So look and see how much they're pricing it for. So uh, like I said, this one is $7.99, this is 99 cents, $1.99, $7.99, so they're kind of all over the place, but you know, it, it, it depends on what kind of book you're doing. These look like, even though they've got different, they have different author names, they look like they're in the same uh, actual line. So these are all 7.99s, but these are kind of the outliers. Here, you got 99 cents, 99 cents. Again, this looks like the, the same outliers as before. So just look and see what they're pricing it at. And it looks like other than those, everybody else is pricing it at 99 cents. So if you were in this niche, or if I was in this niche, I would most likely put my books at 99 cents for this size book in this niche. If I was doing a 30 minute science fiction fantasy short read, I would charge 99 cents. And again, I would just go in and, and look at the top 20 or the top 50 and see what on average they're charging. Uh, and then look at what the outliers are. I mean, this one is charging a buck 99 and they're ranked number three. So maybe buck 99 might be worth trying out, but I definitely wouldn't do the 799. And so that's how you figure out how to price any book, but especially if you're doing a book in Kindle short reads. Well, there you go. I hope I was able to answer those five questions for you. Most importantly, do Kindle short reads still sell? And the short answer is 
Yes, they do. Now, whether or not you should create Kindle short reads for your business is unfortunately completely up to you. Everybody's business model is different. But I will say that I hope I showed you in this video some ways to, to research and see if it would work best for you. If you have any questions about self-publishing books or specifically Kindle short reads, let me know down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer each and every one of them. Now let's not let the learning stop here. There's two great videos right here that I'm sure will help you in your self-publishing business. So go on, pick one of those videos and I'll catch you on the inside. And remember to write right.